Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to tie a dead simple pike fly. This is what we're going to end up with. Nice bulky profile up front, tapering out to a nice tail there. A bit with this fly. We're using the fibres to get that profile. We're doing all, let them do all the work for us. And if you fish this on a violent strip, because you've got that head profile there, what you can get it to do is you can get it to fish like a jerkbait. So you can give it a violent strip and then pause it and it'll just turn. It'll just turn in the water and it'll have that action to it. It's brilliant. Fish love it. You can add stripes. You can leave it without. I know some of you guys like to tie jig flies and fish them on spinning rods. You can use the exact same principles for tying it on a, on a jig hook. So that there, that's a 10 gram jig hook. Exactly the same pr principle. So let's, uh, let's get this tied. So in the vise, I've got a, a 5 it's a Kuma Manta 540. That's the equivalent of a, a partridge predator hook for those of you who uh, like partridge. Um, what we're using is we're using this stuff funky hair, slinky fibre, uh, pike skins, predator fibre. It's all, it's jump, it's, it's a jumbo braid. It's, it's got a nice natural kink to it. Um, and we're going to use that to our benefit on this fly. And the fact that it's over a long distance, it's nice and supple. When you get it tied onto a hook and you're short, there's a lot of resistance there. And we can use that to our advantage. So, so what I'll do is, normally when you buy this in Hanks, you probably get it in 9 nine or 10 inch, something like that. So I've got about, got about 10 inch there. I might trim a bit of that off actually. I'll take about an inch off that. And I'll tie this as you get it yourself. Right, so the important part, first of obviously, is to put some thread on. <laughs> so for that, I'm using some uh, it's just uni mono medium. So just whip that on and come back approximately five mil, something like that, from the eye. About there, just trim that off. We've not come back very far. We're not. We're not using this part of the hook. We're going to build everything to there in that taper there. And then, uh, as you'll see there, when we're finished, everything's there. It's just, just built how I, just how I like it really. It's got loads of movement in the tail, but then it's got a big, big profile up front. So I just had a bob, blob of super glue onto that, just to. Uh, Secure that thread down. Give it a bit of a wipe. Dab that. Right. So this is going to be the centre of the of the fly. And for this, we've got some. It's a it's an orange and yellow mix. And then we're going to go with a UV orange for the back and a UV yellow for the belly. I I call this pattern the hot tiger. Just because I was fishing had stripes, but it's entirely up to you. You can add a kill spot if you like. So the important part with the material is this is what we save trimming it afterwards. We're going to work all the tapering at the tying point. So we're going to pull the centre fibres out there. As you pull them, you can give them a little bit of a roll between your finger and thumb. And I'll just put a nice distribute all the fibres and everything. Give it a nice uh, taper. So. We're Pull the taper in there. Naturally, what we've done, we've pulled the tip through that side. So we can tie this on. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work on a principle of tying approximately 40% behind the hook, leaving the 60% in front of. We'll just tie that down, secure that well. Just tie that on top of the hook there few thread wraps, pull that down properly. Good job's it gone. Now, 
instead of going backwards with the thread, come forwards with it over the top, pull it forwards. If the thread wraps down, that's that. Right. So now then, this is what we want. You can see there, there's a lot of resistance in that that material. When I try push it back, we're going to use that to our advantage. That's going to build the shoulders up in the fly. What we don't want to do, we don't want to fold it back and we don't want to pull it down and squash it there, so you're just going to lose everything. So we tie it down with the thread down in front of the fly. Um, if you want some flash through the fly, put it in at this point. I've tried various flashes, I've tried um, crystal flash, even though it's got a little kink, it's still a bit too straight, or flashable. It just doesn't sit properly, it doesn't blend in with the materials. Um, and this is the best stuff I've found so far. This is uh, Shimmer and Shine from Funky Fly Tying. Um, you can use any colour you want. I've just got some baitfish grey from using, making roach patterns. Uh, and it, it looks okay through it. So I'll just, just trim a few strands of that off. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to put flash through it. You can leave it just solid, solid colours. Oh, I'm sure we are. As predator anglers we just like that little bit of a glint in the light so I'll just tie that in there a few turns of thread just secure that down so this will end up now this flash will end up through the through the cord through the center of the fly because it won't tied it in it just makes it look a little bit neater puts it kind of on a, along a lateral line there of the fly so then uh, We'll push this bit back with, with our thumb, and then we'll bring the thread rather than on top of like this. We'll bring it in front of, and we'll just just stop it. Just just force it. Just force that hair back slightly. If any tied uh, hollow tied bucktail, it's the same principle. You're just building that thread dam up in front of the thread just to stop it. We don't want to squash it down. Now that, that there, this little bit, that, that's going to give you the shoulders of the fly. And the, the, uh, that, that there is going to create this part. Now with the material laid over the top, he's going to follow that profile there and look champion. So I'm going to get the, the yellow. Obviously you can use different colours if you like. You can three colours makes it dead simple. If you want to add fourth, you could just put an extra colour in. There we just single tying point over the top and then follow the next bit. It, it, it work just the same. But for this one, I'm just using three colours. So again, I'm just gonna work that tape into the material. Pull my centre fibers out, give them a bit of a roll as you do it. So the tip of that side there so that means that side is naturally pulled through and tapered as well so do this exact same again it's, it really is super simple hopefully if you've never really tied a pike fly before if, or if you're experienced pike fly tire if you watch this, follow this should all work out and look just right so we'll tie that and again we're going to work on the same principle this amount 40% backwards to the rear, 60% forwards, and then when that folds over, you can end up with the tapers either in out, even in out. So tie that in, kind of just pull it up with the hook, spread it about, hold it underneath. You can turn your vice over if you want, I don't tend to bother. I've tied that many of these that it's just second nature, just to do it all the one way. A few thread wraps of that. Just secure that down. And I'll grab the orange of the back material. I'll work that taper in just the same. Like I say, it's super simple, it really is. Okay, just pull them through. Same again, lay that on top. Your fibers backwards, 60% forwards. Just a few 
thread wraps, tie that down, secure it properly. There you go, you can see now, you're getting a profile there already of the, the finished fly. That's gonna, that there is gonna build your body up. This bit's just gonna put a little bit of taper over the top. So, with the top fibres, with the back, the orange, come up there, just use your thumb, just force it and split it sideways slightly. Hold it, pinch it there and just pull it back. That, probably hold it there like that. Once you've given it a bit of a roll, the rest of the body will just support it and fibres. It'll hold there, you can let go, there you go. With the belly, just split it either side of the thread, so 50-50 either side, just pull it underneath and then you can let it go back to one again, so you just you just passed it around your thread basically. Same again with that, just, just pull that up into the main body of the flight, pull it back and then just use your thumb again, just to splay them fibres around. Same principle, I have to keep saying the same principle it is. Uh, we're not going to tie down on top there because that'll just squash everything we've done. So we're going to come forwards and wrap onto this, onto the, the bit of the shank there between the eye and the fibre, and just build that a little bit up. Uh, give that a few turns, that'll just. Stop everything coming forward. I'll just turn it on. Yeah, I'm just, I've got like a little empty spot there towards the camera. I'll just, just pull some of them fibres and just work them into that bit. squashing the fibre, not even tying onto the fibres there, I'm just tying on the uh, empty part of the hook. I didn't get my whip finish tool, so you can either give it a two finger whip finish, or just use a whip finish tool, either way, same result, a few turns of that, tie it down, cut it off. So what we've done there is just basically just built a nose of thread. We've not squashed it on, tied onto the material at all there. Uh, just built a little bit of a nose up just to keep it held back. And basically, that's that's the fly finished. Um, what we'll do is we'll just take it out. All the fibres just need mixing through. So instead of, instead of just brushing it all the way on one side, I, by the way, I use a, a nylon pet brush. So what I do is I, I brush it. From head to tail on the front, on the side, sorry, on the top, turn it over on the other side, and then on the belly. But as I'm brushing it, I kind of roll the fly around and just keep working it through that way just to, to blend everything through and make it a, a nice finished fly. And just blend all the tapers in, all the colours, and then just, just make it look nice and finished. So I'm just rolling it. As a brush, just to blend all them fibres. I mean, we end up with with this. I just take it in the, the eye of the hook, just give it a stroke back, just to tame it a little bit. Kind of roll it as you go in, and just distribute distribute everything and blend it nicely. And then that'll give you that taper there. Look, and give it a shake. What you're looking for is once it's in the water, once we all we all would like to do this and think that it's going to stay like this, fish like this when it's in the water. In reality, what it'll do is it'll open out a little bit. So you probably get more kind of that kind of look. But you can still see there, it's still holding the, the profile. It's not too bulky. You can see the light through that pattern there. It's easy to cast. 
dead easy to tie, it's easy to fish and it catches fish which obviously is the most important part I'll just put that back in the vise and at that point if you want to put stripes on so like this just lay it down on a piece of paper a piece of card not on your wife's best table obviously won't be good for brownie points um, just get a sharpie pen just hold it down it's, uh, a board or something and just stripe it that way from the, from the belly up and then work it across turn it over do the same on the other side it's entirely up to you can fish it like this so it's just bright you can add stripes you could even add a kill spot I haven't got any with a kill spot but you could just put a black mark there and fish is a kill spot it's more, kind of more of a bass kind of thing with a shad of that um, but it would work, it's entirely up to you get creative with it, leave it blank it doesn't really matter so all you need to do then is just mix some 5 minute epoxy up stick some eyes on 10mm um, eyes or 12mm eyes the ideal size for this These, them two there they're just uh, some 10 mil parrot eyes from funky fly tying um, just use whichever eyes you prefer doesn't really matter um, so yeah there we go that's a finished fly hopefully when you've tied one up go out and catch a fish on it let me know how you do let me know what you think to my video um, unfortunately there's no fancy editing it's just a raw video just done on my phone um, it's just tied as is there's no tricks or anything um, so yeah thank you very much for watching um, hopefully go out and catch a fish and enjoy tying it thank you very much bye